Welcome to Upload It app. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the app to accept custom upload of images from your customers. All right, so once you install the app, you'll see the dashboard like this. All right, so click on the play button and make sure you watch the tutorial video and also check your email. So to start using the app, you need to close the video button and then you'll see uh, welcome with your name this is a tester so I can see a welcome P of course this is uh, not correct and then you will also see the direct interface of our blog you can watch the video here they are very important videos that shows you the best way to use the app and you can click on see all announcement button and it will take you to the blog URL all right so let's get started how you can use this app first of all click on new upload set and there you can see a small uh, uh, window in which you have five options to uh, use the app so for example if you just want to show the upload button or accept upload of files from your customer for only one product then you can use the URL option this is the best part best way to use the app okay but if you want to accept if you want to show the upload button in many many different products in that case you can use the other option like vendor or tag or handle or product type etc in this video I'll show you how you can use uh, the URL and the product type option to accept custom uploads so for that let's uh, go to the sample product okay this is a sample block and we have imported certain product and there let's see the uh, specific product type so as you have seen in the in in the, uh, in the app you have option like URL product type and product vendor so this is the product type and this is the product vendor so let's say we need to show this uh, upload option in coffee tables all right let me show you the product first this is the product URL all right and for now let me just copy the URL and go back to the app and paste it into the field where it says URL is okay and in the label you can name it upload here field name let's just leave it like upload and you can also limit it by the file extension like if you only want to accept PNG or GIF or JPEG so let's say we're gonna accept all three kind of file from the customer so once you're happy with the setting just click on save changes okay and let's go back to the URL and hit refresh so wait for a few seconds and you can see there's an upload button here but it's not looking good so we need to merge it with the theme and for that we can go back to the app and click on change button style all right so here you can uh, you have many options to choose from for example what you want as a button text right now we have a text as upload file we can change it here to click here to upload all right and we can change the button background color to match it with our theme for now here's a small window let's change it to let's say green all right uh, well okay screen now you have multiple options you can change it to like this or you can use the palette like this to choose a color or you can use you know a slider you can you know to change the button style to a grayscale or you can actually <laughs> use this kind of penciling effect many ways to add but the one I like is a direct color okay all right cool so once we're happy with the color let's just close the uh, the 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 window and from here you can choose the text color so with this let me have 
I think white would be good. All right. So white is here and you can close the window. So if all is good, click on submit. It's done and let's check it on the product page. Let's refresh the page. And you can see the button is ready. Okay. That's it's, it's very simple and straightforward. Now you can click your customer can click on the upload button and let's say they need to choose an image like this. So it's done. And now uh, your client can click on add to cart. You can see that uh, it's, it has already added the image here. All right, so now your, your client can complete the order, your customer can complete the order, and this image will automatically be available in this specific order. So remember, if you want to find this image, you need to uh, check the order details in your Shopify store. Like this, you know, for example, you click on order. And in the order, uh, right now, uh, I have not placed the order, so it's not available, but you click on the order number and in the order details, you will be able to find the image somewhere here. All right, so it's that simple. You can customize the button text, color, and finally, you have one more option called S3 settings. One second. So if you want all the images to go to your Amazon uh, AWS account you can click on s3 and complete the settings and you will be able to store all the images from your customers to your Amazon web server it's a little bit of technical thing so if you're not comfortable with that you can enjoy a free upload uh, you don't need that and you can directly use these boxes to you know set it up and all the images from your customer will be stored in our server and of course we don't need to access that that's a totally a private thing but for more control, you need to be a little bit technical and you can click on S3 settings and update it with the Amazon details like username, password and bucket, etc. I'll do a separate video for this. Okay, for now, uh, you can see uh, the image is here already in the card and everything is pretty good. All right, so that's all. It's easy to use and straightforward. So thank you for watching this video and for any question, you can click on this small envelope button and you can shoot a message to us and I'm sure we get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Thank you for watching the video. Have a very great day ahead.